Hey guys, so I'm coming to you with a very, very exciting review. Uh, before I get into it, let me know if you like this angle. I like this angle better doing videos. I don't even know if you see a difference, but I like this angle better. But anyway, I am coming to you with a review. Oh my god, I just, I'm so excited. I gotta get my words together. <sighs> On the ColourPop Yes Please palette. I'm holding up the box. This is the box because the name of the palette, oh crap. It's not a video unless I drop something. The name of the palette is Yes Please, uh, and it's not on the front of the palette, so I just don't want anyone to be confused. Um, but anyway, it's the Yes Please palette from ColourPop. I'll tell you the logistics first, and I'll tell you how I feel about it. This palette retails for $16 on ColourPop's website. I will link it down below. I'll be honest with you, it, it's gone out of stock like twice now, but they're restocking it. I am not sure. I apologize if it is limited edition. However, I do have the link down below. It's $16 for this palette, and it contains their... Um, pressed eyeshadow formula. Now if you guys didn't know Colourpop makes pressed eyeshadows, yes they do. So Colourpop is famous and known for their Super Shock shadows, the ones that look like this that are like that cream gel shadow hybrid that are amazing, wonderful, long wearing, cheap, we, we love it. They have, they've come out with some single pressed eyeshadows. Now I just acquired one um, someone actually gave it to me, um, but I didn't, I've never ordered any of their press shadows or tried that formula or anything. Um, so this was all completely new to me. The formula, the palette, everything, and they came out with this palette. Yes, please. Now, when I first saw it, I did not get it doing the first restock. I got it doing the second, be the first stock. I got it doing the second because I was just like, it's another warm palette. Let's keep it real. Another woman. The the market is oversaturated with them right now. I mean, 35-0. I feel like 35-0 really started the hype on it. 35-0 and you got the, the Naked Heat that's out now that I haven't got my hands on yet. Uh, the Natasha and the Denona Palace. The Sephora has a warm palette. All the Violet Voss palette. I mean, I could go on and on about warm, orangey, sunsetty palettes. I could go on and on and on. So the first time I was like, I looked at it, I was like, it's another one. It's another one. However, I have not seen a negative review on it. I watched some reviews on it, and I was like, okay, people are liking different things. Even still, I was like, eh, nah, nah. not going to lie. I was like, I don't know. And then I was like, you know what? If this is as good as everyone's saying it is for $16, I feel as though I should get it and review it and definitely let you guys know what's up. And I will say this flat out. I was not disappointed. So the palette is pretty small. Um, it is. It's, it's pretty small. It's not as big as you think. It's not the shadows themselves show the palette. I'm sorry, mine is already dirty. Like, I've been digging in it. Um, the palette, the, the shadows themselves are smaller than a 26 millimeter standard shadow. Let me see the size here. You get 0 0.85 grams in each shadow, in 12 shadows. Um, made in the USA, cruelty free. Colourpop has always been. Yes, and so this is what you get. The packaging is a sleek cardboard packaging with a magnetic closure. You do not get a mirror in here. Um, that's all right, although you do get the names of each shadow on the back, okay? They're not on the front of the palette, like where the colors are, but you do have a reference on the back of the palette as well as on the box. But some people throw the box away, and they did put them on the back, what the names of the shadows are, which I thought was really, really nice. Okay, anything else? Retail $16.00. Yeah. ColourPop has some other palettes. I know uh, the Femme Rosa palette, I did order that. So maybe making palettes is, you know, becoming a thing for them, which is pretty great. I ordered their highlighter palette. So that would be really good. And they're at a really inexpensive price, okay, at $16. So all right, I get the palette. I get the palette a few days ago. A few, I ain't gonna lie, a few days ago. I haven't put it down since. I have not put it down since to the point where I'm... It's amazing. Okay, so what makes this palette unique from the others? Where do I begin? Okay. I don't know. Y'all like Candace. Is it that serious? It is. Because with the saturation of these warm palettes on the market, ColourPop took that theme and condensed it into a palette that did not add any fluffer shades that has all the shades you would need. No extra shades. No this. No that. And made it an affordable price. A super under 20 bucks. A super affordable price. They did it. Okay. I have swatches here. I have swatches on my hand. I'll go like this. These are finger swatches. Okay. Look at that. And I 
am wearing the palette today on my eyes. I did another look. I did a few looks with this palette, but this look and I have a like a get ready with me sped up type of thing where I am using the palette on camera. You will see and I did like a halo eye situation. This I'm wearing some Urban Decay Primer Potion, but I have on no base, no metallic base to make anything pop. Nothing. Just my eye primer and this palette. Look at this gold on my lids and I've worn it all day today. Look at this gold on my lids. Like Colourpop did that. That is um this shade here and that shade is called butter cake okay so I enjoy this palette five stars two thumbs up color pop took they took that orange hypey warm trend and condensed it down to 12 really shades. if you want to do a warm orangey palette you want to do a warm sunset orangey palette this is it um, no, it doesn't include a lot of neutrals. The only neutral, I guess some of these can go as neutrals, but the only neutral, neutral, like neutral brown is this shade here. Let me use my, um, box for reference. This shade here called Note to Self, which is a warm brown. Um, don't get me started on the warm browns. But it's a warm brown, and that's considered neutral. Everything else, um, I guess it's in the orange family, plummy, but it, it goes with the palette, okay? I don't need any more neutrals in my palette. I don't need a, I don't, I don't need them because I have so many of those. Average consumer. Now, if you need a matte black in all your palettes, this is not the palette for you. It's, it's not, it's not the theme of this palette. If you need a matte white, it's not the theme of this palette. The lightest shade you are going to get here is full zip, which I can appreciate for us women of color. It's a peachy tan. It's not stark white. I have used this shade as well as a brow highlight. Okay? So, yeah. So what you get, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight matte shades. Eight matte shades. Super pigmented, super blendable. And then you get four uh, definitely metallic, definitely uh, definitely metallic shades. I wouldn't call them like satins or shimmers. They're straight metallic for you. And I am appreciating it. And they picked four core shades. You have a gold. Definitely. You need a gold. And you need an orangey sunset gold. Okay? Definitely an orangey sunset gold. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you have two bronzy, um, coppery shades here. This one leans a little bit more copy and it has a little dual chrome. I don't know if you can see it here. With like a peachy orange gold shift in it okay and then you got your 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 um coppery shade brassy shade there and those are all the four you need for this theme of palette okay and then the mattes the quality of these shadows again i haven't tried color pops pressed eyeshadow palette um pressed eyeshadows and while i love the cream shadow formula i was just like i'm not paying five dollars for single shadows like I have a lot of brands that I like. You know, I just, it just wasn't, I didn't jump on it. I liked ColourPop because they're unique. Press shadows aren't unique to me. ColourPop's Super Shock shadows are unique to me. That's the only reason why. However, this formula is great and I will definitely continue to buy them in palettes. Mattes are very blendable. I will say this, when you dip your brush and you get some kick up, that is not a, um... a negative for me. I'm heavy handed. I use large brushes. It is what it is. Soft shadows do that. Okay? But they go on. I'm going to actually show you on my brush. It's not a... I'm, I'm not dark, dark skin. I'm brown. Let's keep it real. I'm brown. However, these shadows... I'm going to go ahead and go into GNO. GNO with a fluffy crease brush. These shadows show up. Look at this. Look at that. It shows up without having to work really hard. Without having to press really hard. Without having to do layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. And it just... It definitely works. The warms are perfect for women of color. We know our, um, what is that? Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. Peanut Butter. Peanut Butter. <clears throat> that shade, that warm orange. You need a warm brown? A warm brown, honey. A warm... Beautiful. As well as this super just true orange here that's matte. And I built those up to make a really beautiful, beautiful warm crease. Again, you'll see the video of the Get Ready With Me before... I don't know when it'll go up before or after this one. However, you see I did a halo eye using some of the metallics, using the brassy one and then the orangey gold. Uh, today I just have the plain gold on my lid. And again, I put that on with a flat regular regular eyeshadow brush and it just it just popped immediately it didn't need anything extra super pigmented super bright and yet the colors are distinct enough where you see differences between them ColourPop put 
these shades that are in this palette are different enough. You know you got 15 shades all look the same or they all look the same when you put them on your eyes with these big mega palettes. Not knocking them and I love them too because I love the versatility and I love the idea of having a lot of options. However, I can appreciate the compact side of makeup as well. None of these shades, they're all distinct. If I put them on my eye, you can tell they are distinct, different shades and they're not all blending into one mess. With that being said, they blend together nicely, but they blend together where you can still see the distinct shades and the distinct tones in these eyeshadows. I could not ask for anything better. ColourPop took this warm eyeshadow craze and they nailed it. I Well done, ColourPop. They nailed it for $16. Um, you do pay shipping. I don't even know how much ColourPop shipping is. I think it's five around $5. However, they always have right, it's free shipping over $30. Um, and then sometimes they do free shipping over $20. And I would always recommend just picking up some other things from their site. I know I'm not encouraging spending more money or consumerism, but however, their things are so affordable and so nice um, that why not? Why not? You know, it's just, just wonderful. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too fast. And so. Yeah, I don't have any else, anything else to say. Uh, any cons on the palette, if you need a mirror, if you're a person with a mirror, you might want a mirror. It's not a con for me because usually when they add a mirror, the price might be a little bit more expensive. That's a little bit more expensive to include a mirror with this packaging. I don't need it. Um, anything else? I don't think it needs a matte black or a matte... I don't, that's not the theme of this palette. Every palette does not need that. I can appreciate it in some palettes. I can. Like, I think neutral palettes or smoky palettes should have that deep matte brown, um, black or deep, deep brown for the versatility. But this is a themed palette. It's not really... It doesn't say themed anywhere, but judging by these colors, the color scheme, I'm just saying it's that warm theme of a palette. ColourPop nailed it. I am not disappointed at all. It's so small. It's so thin. It's so compact. Again, I thought it was bigger than this. I'm not disappointed, but for $16, I completely understand this price point. It's really nice. Again, you're not going to run out of any shades. The pants are so decent sized. Just, again, a little bit smaller than 26 millimeter uh, eyeshadow pan. This warm, this um, brick red here, this matte brick. Shorty, I have it already on my hand. Look at me. The matte brick there, oh my gosh. Like... I am very impressed, especially on my skin tone. When I first used the palette, I was like, I'm going to do a look. I'm going to play around. When I first used it, I was like, wow. Like, I didn't have to do any, not saying I was expecting it, but you just, you don't know what to expect. And it was just wow, which is really, really nice. I really came up with this really pretty look here. Everything again on my eyes. I'm wearing, again, that gold on the lid. In the crease, I have one. Note to Self and GNO, which are these two here. I have those two on um, in the crease. My brow highlight is the gold again. Um, what is that? Butter cake. And then to deepen everything up in the outer area here, I used French Kiss. The deep, it's a plummy, it's definitely a plummy brown. It's not straight brown. It's not straight purple. Definitely a plummy brown. Perfect tone for this um, set of shadows here. I really do like it. I'm really excited about it. I really do appreciate ColourPop for doing this. Um, any other cones? Maybe a different shade of packaging. I'm being petty now because it is going to get dirty. That just means it's well loved. I'm so impressed. Um, stay tuned for my other reviews. I have some other ColourPop items I purchased. Um, and by other, I may have two more palettes up. Uh, the Femme Rosa palette as well as the highlighter palette. I'll talk about those. I'll mention those at least in an upcoming video. As well as this crystal priming spray. I got the one in Amethyst. It smells really nice. But I don't know what else I can say about it right now. Um, but yes, I am very impressed. I'm so excited. ColourPop, well done. I'm going to link the, the palette down below. If it's on, it's still on the site, but I think it's sold out. I'm going to link it down below, and you might want to just keep checking. They do announce the restocks. Follow ColourPop Cosmetics on Instagram. They will announce restocks and things like that. Um, <clears throat> If you know, follow the beauty community so you can catch it. It did sell out fast. However, I'm not upset about that. A lot of people get pissed when these companies put out releases and they sell out in like two minutes. You should prepare enough stock for this. How, from a business standpoint, how can you prepare? ColourPop was transparent. I remember in the second restock, they said they ordered 200,000 more palettes. 200,000 more palettes. And they sold out. <clears throat> I happened to be on the site. They said what time it was going to be sold out. I mean, it was going to go on sale. It was like 1 p.m. my time. Um, 
and I was at work and I had to be at my computer and I was like alright and I checked one on the dot I checked the ColourPop website it was up put in my cart I checked out knew what I wanted um and it, it was what it was and I know some people can't get there at one I it, it happens some things are popular and I don't fault the company all the time for I mean you ordered 200,000 more they did and I just I wanted to make that note of that because people get really pissed with these companies that sell out and don't get me wrong I know some companies may buy a little bit of stock or sell out and then be like we didn't know it was going to be this popular and, and, and then make it permanent later looking at you two face I know that happens I know but in this situation it's like some situations it's like you know or like your very first product it happens like a company this is like one of the first palettes they came out with it's not like a company that's well established and know how their things sell they don't know how this was going to do and at the end of the day like they restocked it in a fair amount of time. They actually pushed the restock back because they knew they didn't have enough yet. They, and it just sold out. People knew. People were ready. Like, what else do you want? I don't know. I'm not shilling for ColourPop. But, <laughs> I don't know. So sometimes that thing, those things bother me. But anyway, if any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in the video, go ahead and leave them down below. I love you all, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.